If you are in the mood for a chuckle, then it's a good thing we booked this guy. Would you please welcome a comedian and host of the hit podcast, Don't You Know Who I Am? It's Josh Earl! Yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank you. Hello. Good to be on the show. It's just, thanks for having me. No, not at all. Um, so you got a brand new... We'll get to the podcast in a sec. Yep. You've got a brand new stand-up show called Modern Contemporary. It is, yes. Uh, but it's a great title, but it feels a bit unfinished. It, it could be a museum. Is it modern contemporary <laughs> sculpture? Is <laughs> it modern contemporary dance? What oh, are we... That's it. It's, well, not it's dance. dance. It's, it's dance. Oh, dance. Modern right. contemporary <laughs> dance. Right. Yeah. That's what it is. Why, why, why dance? Well, when I was 16 years old, I was in Year 12 and I was doing maths, the highest maths you could do. It was too hard for me. So I dropped out and the only other options I had was a chemistry, another maths or dance. And so I thought, well, I'll do dance. That'll be the easiest one. <laughs> and so I was secretly doing dance in Year 12 in Tasmania in 1998. Uh, <laughs> underground dance. Underground scene. dance. Scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So secretly, as in your parents didn't know. Parents didn't know. No, I didn't tell them. Mainly because my brothers would have teased me. So I. So then, know. what happens when they find out? Like they'll come see the show that they've. they've well, they've they, this. they, now they, what they found out. When the... did they find out? By the way, well, is this, is this I, the moment? Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> Mum, Dad, watch. Uh, so I, I got accepted to dance for a professional dance company, Taz Dance, after three months of doing dance in Year Twelve. What? Yeah. I was Pretty really good. good. I was really good. And I... Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing at Taz Dan. I know. But... <laughs> wow, OK. Well, the show was called Fish Fingers. OK. And I... <laughs> so, 16, so 15, uh, 16, 17-year-olds in Tasmania came together and had to tour for three weeks. Mm. And so I had to get my mum and dad to sign the form. So I had to come. Uh. It was like, and it wasn't like a Billy Elliot, no son of mine. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was all like, so you're out of the house for three weeks? What's it cost us? Nothing? <laughs> Fine, go on, go for it. That's right. So that was how it Taz happened. Yeah. Josh, um, you now talk for a living. Yes. That's, you get paid to talk. But it wasn't, why are you laughing? This is going into a serious question. You're going to feel bad now. Because you couldn't speak properly when you were a kid. Oh. What? No. Uh, <laughs> I, and he was a dancer too. Yeah. <laughs> I had eight years of speech therapy as a kid growing up. Eight, that's a lot of speech mm. therapy. And because I had this thing called apraxia of speech, which what it is is my brain goes too fast and my mouth either there's a block and I can't get the words out and sometimes I'll navigate around certain words and try and, you know, or I'll talk really fast so the audience can't hear what I'm saying wrong. Because they're trying, oh, I can't keep up with it anyway. And so that's what I do. Oh. Did learning wow. dancing help with that at all? Like the, it, the sort of It probably could have. It could have been a left brain, right brain thing. I don't, mm. I don't really know, though. But I can talk now. Yeah, quite well. Thanks, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know the sort of thing you've said, but I, you look great. <laughs> Just watch it back. There'll be subtitles on there. It'll be great. Um, so your podcast, yes. uh, which we mentioned at, at the start, uh, Do You Know Who I Am? Yep. It kicks off every episode. You, you, you're talking to another comedian. Yes, and you four kick off comedians. Four comedians. Yep. And you tell them... Or someone else who has the same name as them yes. is quite obscure. Yes. Which I think is a fantastic premise, but I wonder whether or not you can do it all the time. So, Rove McManus, go. Well, Rove is a one of a kind. You're the only Rove McManus in the world. There, oh, are, a lot, there are a lot of Rose McManus. It's almost McManuses. like I made it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of Rose McManuses, though. Rose? Right. Yeah, there's a lot of Rose McManuses. So, I, if you were on the show, I would, I would do a Rose McManus. I know but, there's other... I have had people who have got in touch with me saying, we've named our son Rove after you, and I feel like saying, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what about this lot? You, these three. So, I'll, I'll go... I've got it written down. So, Monty. Yeah. You share your name with an American filmmaker whose films include Peroxide Passion. <gasps> oh, my God, I love that movie. And the 1985 film One Woman or Two. Oh, oh hello. hello. Starring Jared Depardieu. Oh, now, okay. Lisa... <laughs> of course it's starring yeah. Jared <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, you share your name with a Sydney artist manager at Sony Music who, oh. on her LinkedIn page, puts her... HSC results in 2008. She got 96.6. Oh, wow. Okay, well Lisa. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there you go, Lisa. Uh, and Waleed, you share your name with an Egyptologist and tour guide in Cairo. So there you go. Really? Ah. Yep. Well, that's kind of expected given I'm Egyptian and it's a very common name in Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> but that's an amazing that's, research. Th there it is, yeah. Just one? Are you sure there weren't a thousand of them? Oh, there is a lot, yeah. Now, I don't know if we have, probably have time for this, but I love the Yeah Nah Yeah game that you have. Yes. Can we do a quick round Let's of that? Let's do a quick round. We so, what I do is long. I. I read out a fact about someone on the panel, oh. and if you think it's true, you say yeah. If you uh. lie, you say nah. So tonight I'm going to read about Rove. Yep. So this right. is a Go fact. For it. Okay. Yeah. Wait for it. <laughs> when Rove was 15 years old, he was obsessed with the Chinese dessert fried ice cream. So much so that he tried to recreate it at home. Mm -hmm. He did this by frying some dim sims, mm -hmm. removing the meat filling, <laughs> and putting ice cream in the casing. Yeah or no? Nah? Oh, yeah. yeah. You can ask him yeah. questions. No. I'm sure you can ask questions. I don't, don't need to ask, ask a single question. Yeah. <laughs> It's not. No. 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 No.
Yeah. Got him! Zing! So I made that up once. I actually uh, made it up about Peter Hellier, who's been on the show. So. <laughs> Yeah. Sounds delicious, though. It does. Oh, doesn't it? I wish I had done that. You take nothing away from this. I have take I that. ruined yeah. my child. Missed out. We'll head to our website for all the info, and we can catch Josh's show, Modern Contemporary. And would you please thank Josh Earl? Yeah.